Richard Ferry's All About Asset Allocation is a comprehensive guide to one of the most critical aspects of investing asset allocation. The book is a valuable resource for both novice and experienced investors, providing insights into the principles and practices that govern the distribution of assets within an investment portfolio. Ferry, a seasoned financial advisor and advocate of low-cost, passive investing, emphasizes the importance of a well-constructed asset allocation strategy to achieve long-term financial goals. The book is written in a clear, accessible style, making complex concepts understandable to readers of all levels. The Importance of Asset Allocation Ferry begins by underscoring the importance of asset allocation, arguing that it is the most significant factor in determining an investor's success. He cites research showing that asset allocation accounts for over 90% of the variability in portfolio returns, with individual security selection and market timing playing a much smaller role. The central thesis of the book is that by diversifying across different asset classes, investors can reduce risk and increase the likelihood of achieving their financial objective. Asset allocation is not just about choosing stocks and bonds, but also about understanding how different asset classes interact with one another. Ferry explains that the performance of a portfolio depends on how its components work together, rather than on the performance of any single asset. He introduces the concept of the efficient frontier, where investors can achieve the highest possible return for a given level of risk. This concept is key to understanding the trade-offs between risk and return in the context of asset allocation. Building a Portfolio The book provides a detailed guide to building a diversified portfolio. Ferry explains the characteristics of various asset classes, including domestic and international stocks, bonds, real estate, commodities, and alternative investments. He discusses the role each asset class plays in a portfolio and how they can be combined to achieve a balanced and diversified investment strategy. Ferry is a strong proponent of index investing, arguing that it is the most efficient way to gain exposure to different asset classes. He points out that index funds and ETFs exchange-traded funds offer broad market exposure at a low cost, which is crucial for long-term investment success. The book offers practical advice on selecting the right mix of assets based on an investor's risk tolerance, time horizon, and financial goals. One of the key takeaways from this section is the importance of rebalancing. Ferry explains that over time, the allocation of assets in a portfolio will drift from its target due to differences in asset class performance. Rebalancing involves periodically adjusting the portfolio back to its original allocation, which helps to maintain the desired level of risk and ensures that the portfolio remains aligned with the investor's goals. The Role of Bonds and Fixed Income Ferry devotes significant attention to bonds and other fixed income investments, which play a crucial role in reducing portfolio risk. He explains the different types of bonds, including government bonds, corporate bonds, and municipal bonds, and discusses their risk and return characteristics. The book also covers the importance of bond duration, credit quality, and the impact of interest rates on bond prices. Ferry argues that bonds should form the core of a conservative portfolio and be used to offset the volatility of stocks. He provides guidelines for determining the appropriate allocation to bonds based on an investor's risk tolerance and time horizon. For example, younger investors with a longer time horizon may have a lower allocation to bonds, while retirees or those approaching retirement may have a higher allocation to protect against market downturns. International Diversification A key component of Ferry's asset allocation strategy is international diversification. He argues that investors should not limit themselves to domestic assets, but should also consider investing in international stocks and bonds. By doing so, Investors can take advantage of growth opportunities in different regions and reduce the risk associated with relying on a single country's economy. Ferry discusses the benefits and risks of international investing, including currency risk, political risk, and the impact of global economic factors. He also provides practical advice on how to incorporate international assets into a portfolio, including the use of global index funds and ETFs. Alternative Investments in addition to traditional asset classes like stocks and bonds, Ferry explores the role of alternative investments in a diversified portfolio. These include real estate, commodities, and hedge funds, among others. 
While acknowledging that these investments can offer diversification benefits, Ferry cautions that they also come with higher risks and costs. Ferry suggests that most investors should approach alternative investments with caution and consider them only as a small part of their overall portfolio. He provides guidance on how to evaluate alternative investments and integrate them into a broader asset allocation strategy. Managing Risk Risk management is a recurring theme throughout the book. Ferry emphasizes that all investments carry some level of risk, and the key to successful investing is managing that risk effectively. He introduces the concept of risk tolerance, which refers to an investor's ability and willingness to endure fluctuations in the value of their portfolio. Ferry advises investors to assess their risk tolerance carefully and to choose an asset allocation that aligns with their comfort level. He also discusses the importance of understanding the different types of risk, including market risk, interest rate risk, inflation risk, and currency risk, and how these can impact a portfolio. The book also addresses the psychological aspects of investing, such as the tendency for investors to panic during market downturns. Ferry argues that a well-defined asset allocation strategy can help investors stay disciplined and avoid making emotional decisions that could harm their long-term returns. Conclusion All About Asset Allocation is a thorough and practical guide to one of the most critical aspects of investing. Richard Ferry provides a clear, step-by-step -step approach to building and maintaining a diversified portfolio that can withstand the ups and downs of the market. The book's emphasis on low-cost, passive investing, and the importance of rebalancing makes it a valuable resource for investors looking to achieve their financial goals with minimal risk. Ferry's writing is accessible and engaging, making complex financial concepts easy to understand. Whether you are a novice investor just starting or an experienced investor looking to refine your strategy, All About Asset Allocation offers valuable insights and actionable advice that can help you build a portfolio tailored to your individual needs and risk tolerance. In summary, Ferry's book is a must-read for anyone serious about investing. It reinforces the idea that successful investing is not about picking the next hot stock or timing the market, but about building a well-diversified portfolio and sticking to a disciplined asset allocation strategy. By following the principles outlined in this book, investors can increase their chances of achieving long-term financial success.